So it's Wednesday morning. We're all packed up and ready to go. We're going off to Morzine and Leger um, for the next few days. Definitely in need of finding a campsite and a shower at this point. Yeah, we stayed the night down in abundance. So we're in a little air. And for those people that don't know what an air is, it's like a free camping park up. So little Nelson, the blue van, is absolutely surrounded by huge white European boxes. Um, but it's great. You can just pull up, park up. It rained loads last night, so we just had a night in the van cooking, uh, reading, planning for today. And, uh, and we're all set to go. Yep. Got a bit of a mountain pass to go over. The Col de Corbière, which is apparently quite a famous... Tour de France route, so looking forward to that to get over to Morzine. So we're going to set off now. We're also looking for some Wi Fi because we have done the next YouTube video, but we just can't load it anywhere because we haven't found anywhere with strong enough Wi Fi. So fingers crossed for today. It's absolutely doing our editing. <laughs> So, thinking about yesterday, we we came over into Morzine and parked up and found an air, which was great. Um, and then we went to the lake, did we? Yeah, we went to Lac, Mont Mont Lac de Montreon, which was um, a really beautiful lake. It's very low at the moment because of all the um, dra droughts, but just a beautiful green lake it's got a little lake next to it that you can swim in so we had a really good afternoon just chilling out there so after a couple of days on the mountains it was it was just really nice to to sit by the lake and have a bit of a swim and a bit of a sunbathe and a bit of a switch off and the then... um the the air that we stopped at was a bit of a revelation it was um it you had to pay up until the 30th of August. It was 11 euros 50. We arrived on the 31st of August, which was amazing because it was free. But you still have to pay two euros for the electricity for four hours so we could charge everything for two euros. And the fact that you're on like the edge of a really amazing resort with multi-million euro uh, chalets and accommodation and stuff like that. And you've actually got all the luxuries of home, really. And why would you go to a campsite in fact there aren't any campsites around here so <laughs> no there's one campsite in Morzine that's not got great reviews at all so yeah we stayed at the air for the night and it was fab this morning because we just cycled into Morzine it's about a kilometer kilometer and a half I had a poodle around there I bought myself a retirement treat um, which we'll show you later and we cycled up to the town of Montreal which was absolutely beautiful
so then after our little uh, spot at the beach we uh, we checked our wild guide and found <laughs> that just up the road there was the most unbelievable place to visit the um we've got the french alps um wild guide and I don't think we'd really taken it in when we flicked through it when we were planning on coming here but um, I said I heard someone talking about goats and I said why do they keep talking about goats and Richard said well there is a village somewhere that you can go to so we went <laughs> well the road is shut to the village most of the day because the goats roam free and you, you can't drive up there but there's a certain window that you can drive up so we shot up there and um, just as the goat herd were sort of wandering back for milking and it was just the most lovely experience just a real real sort of memory point that we'll always go back to laughing and thinking about the goats that were up there it was crazy French it was just so cute they were everywhere they were jumping on the tables in the bars they were um, running down the high street one took a shine to Richard oh my mate my mate <laughs> in front of Rich's dream house I think. Yeah we were um, we thought well we're in desperate need of a break um, we're on our second day in Morzine and we're halfway up a mountain that I can't remember the name of but we'll put it below the screen somewhere and we're halfway up and we just come out of the forest and we're absolutely goosed. Yeah it's been 500 meters of just sheer uphill we've actually only done two miles and it's taken us an hour and 40 to get here. And we're in the middle of nowhere and it's just beautiful. Yeah, another beautiful stunning day. Blue sky day.
finally made it down from the mountain. It was hard work. Um, yeah, 1, 1,100 metres of climbing and my legs are absolutely knackered. It was so hot. It was <laughs> absolutely steaming. And we got up to, I think we did a video clip of the the sort of grassy valley at the almost at the top and then it said it was an hour and a half to go and it was just sheer uphill hell but when we were up there it was great yeah it was amazing so we were obviously broken so we decided that we were going to treat ourselves we needed a good relax and shower and clean up so we just came to one of the only campsites in the valley um, and it's a lovely little French site. Yeah, it is. It's really cute. It's um, It's got really clean facilities. And we definitely needed a good shower. Yeah, living in the van for seven days <laughs> makes you a bit stinky. But we're okay now. We've had a good shower. Yeah. Um, and it's a special night tonight. Um, we, we've had our camper van four and a half years. And we've been really meticulous in logging every night that we 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 stayed away in the van yeah so tonight is our 500th night in nelson and we've had him for about four and a half years so that's pretty good going considering we've worked full time up until this point so it's like our safe space is our place that we've escaped and uh, every opportunity whenever we've had holidays or weekends you know, our kids are grown up now, so we can do that, and uh, we've really enjoyed it, and we're going to have a little bit more of that in the future. But 500 nights, it's a big one, it so... Is, oh, cheers. Cheers. It's also actually another celebration, because it's the 1st of September, so today is both of our first official day of retirement. As teachers, you get paid till the end of August. And... Obviously, it's the first day that we haven't been paid in about 30 odd years. So it's a bit scary. I think the finances are going to work itself out. Oh, they'll be fine. Why are we doing this? Well, there's two things. First of all, you need to know the link of Ackerman. We've, we've travelled a lot in France and uh, some of our happiest memories are in the Loire Valley uh, with our kids. And even from when they were little, uh, we used to take them to the vineyards. And, and Georgia and Luke will appreciate this because this was always the wine that we came home with. So Ackerman, Chamour, uh, Cremont Fizz, if that's the phrase. Creme de Loire. Creme de Loire, yeah. And uh, it's uh, brewed in the, sh the champagne style, but they're not allowed to call it champagne, but we prefer it. Method traditionnel. Yeah. Um, and then, if you come into the mountains in France, you've got to absolutely indulge in their love of cheese and one of the best dishes they do is raclette which is like a, a sort of uh, it's quite a mild melting cheese that they they make in the mountains um, and there's various ways of melting it they melt it off the block and it just drizzles down whereas we found these amazing burners yeah i'll get the um little adapter as well You literally put a slice of the raclette cheese on there, put it on the burner, and then scrape it off when it's ready. We have got some photos. It is amazing. So we've worked out that we can actually live off raclette cheese for the next fortnight and actually save money because all you need is uh, raclette, bread, and a bit of saucy sauce. So uh, that's us. We're pretty knackered. We're going to have a a yep. quiet day tomorrow <laughs> not too much walking tomorrow's a lake day <laughs> yeah try and find some lakes and uh, that's us for the day see you later yep night